as the world continues to grapple with the COVID-19 pandemic since its emergence in 2019. The Ministry of Health is set to embark on its ninth COVID-19 vaccination campaign. The Health Ministry initially embarked on a vaccination campaign in 2021 following the launch of the campaign by His Excellency Adam Abaro, the President of the Republic of the Gambia. The campaign is targeting and prioritizing healthcare workers, persons with pre-existing conditions, security personnel, teachers, elderly persons from 65 years and above, hotelers and individuals 12 years and older. The ministry is set to begin the nationwide vaccination campaign from the 1st of March to the 10th of March 2023. Since the Gambia registered its first COVID-19 case on the 18th of March 2020, the country registered a total of 12,593 cases and cumulative of that 372 with a fatality rate of 3.0%. Speaking to the journalist, Deputy Director of Health Promotion and Education, Mr. Sanjali Taraware, emphasized the need for citizens to be vaccinated against the virus. Vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective. And it's important for people to take up this vaccine because the benefit um, is, 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 is obvious. Uh, if you take up the vaccine, the tendency of uh, catching the disease yeah, is very minimal as compared to somebody who has uh, uh, not uh, get, get the job. So we want to minimize that uh, risk. So I think uh, by now um, it's a common understanding that uh, because uh, this is not the first time we conducted the last round and uh, it has never been reported that uh, somebody uh, developed a very serious uh, uh, side effect or adverse event. So, having said that, uh, I think it is proven in this country that this vaccine has been safe. And also to add that it's effective because we are seeing the hospitalization rate reduced. So, meaning that uh, it's proven to be effective. Mr. Sidat Fofana, program manager of the expanded program on immunization, discloses uh, that less than 50% of the country's population is vaccinated while stating that his ministry targeted 70% of the population. Government is very concerned and the minister is very concerned that still now Gambia we have not reached even 50% of the, uh, of the population for, for vaccination. This is a risk and the disease is not going. He was just talking about new variants. Possibility of new variants are coming. So if you are not protected from the old ones, see, and when you have an outbreak of a new variant, that can be catastrophic. A small population like the Gambia, two million population. Hmm? Where this man is coming from with the blue heart? One village is more than the population of the Gambia. If those people manage to vaccinate, uh, you know, more than fifty percent of the population, why are we waiting for? Mr. Gandu Jibril Balde, a senior medical staff of the Health Ministry, highlights the strategies the ministry used to reach out to the larger population. So we have community radios. And we have health workers in these regions, in these, um, uh, some of them villages. So they will be engaging those radios to ensure that they have a weekly radio program telling the people on the ground that it is important for them to get vaccinated and why they should be vaccinated. Because this will not only prevent them from catching the virus, but it will prevent them, if you catch the virus, from <coughs> hospitalization and eventually <coughs> death. So we have a host of communication strategies that we are using um, as far as convincing the people is concerned about um, uh, the uptake of the vaccine. The campaign is expected to roll out from the 1st of March to the 10th of March 2023, targeting all regions in the country by visiting communities, institutions, town centers and markets, including house to house. For Kirfata News, I am Ramatulai Jawa.